My name is Henrik, and I'm the CPO of Enriver. In this presentation, I'll give you an introduction to the company. Uh, we'll talk about the platform and some of its key concepts. But I also would like to say that in addition to this presentation, uh, we also made a product demo, which I encourage you all to, to see. Uh, but first, let's have some, some introduction to the company, some facts. So, uh, InRiver is a software company. We were founded in Sweden, in Malmö, actually, in 2007. Uh, so, to cover our international uh, expansion, we also established uh, offices in uh, Chicago uh, to cover North America, of course. But we also have offices in Amsterdam and Stockholm to cover the Benelux and the Nordic regions. We're growing at a quite heavily pace, and I would say that this reflects the, the overall market, uh, how the interest for product information management has grown and how it supports the, uh, the business. Um, but of course, I mean, we are seeing a growing interest for, for our stuff as well. Today, we have some 200 plus customers across 17 countries. Uh, we're very proud of our partner network, of course, uh, with some 400 uh, certified consultants across these uh, partners. So if we take a look at our customer base, uh, we're active in many different industries. We mainly see uh, uh, success in retail, wholesale, manufacturing, uh, <clears throat> but we cover both B2C and B2B companies, um, so we're obviously proud about the, the growth there. So if we take a look at <clears throat> the, the kind of problems that we solve in the marketplace, so some of the challenges of our customers is, of course, expanding handling of moving into new markets, for instance. So as you outgrow the, the, the home market and what you're doing there, you move into new countries, you need to handle more variations of products, more languages, more stuff that comes with expanding into new markets. You need to handle more assortments, broader assortments, on a quicker pace, more products, more of everything. And of course, the channels, you need to handle those as well. The channels where you um, put your products into. So it's a combination of these. Many more of everything, those are the challenges uh, for our customers. But if we take a look at the challenges of our customer's customer, so it's all about having right and consistent product information throughout all the different touch points for your customers. Uh, and these could be many. You go through many different stages throughout your journey when you're doing a, a purchase, for instance. You search for information to educate yourself about stuff, and then you go through all the way through to when you actually make your purchase. And these are many different touch points. And this is where product information needs to be relevant. It needs to be consistent. So this is the type of challenge that the customer needs to, to solve for their customers. So speaking of which, if we take a look at some of the qualities of great product information uh, in eventually creating a great customer experience, there are some aspects that you need to uh, um, address and which a PIM system can help you with. So the first one being findable. You need to find information and you find information through making searches like through Google or on-site navigation. But this is all based on great product information. The next one to create value here is that the information needs to be correct. So you need a system in place to be able to provide that correct information. On the other hand, if you don't have correct information, that can lead to problems in the end, like increased number of product returns and so on. The information needs to be relevant. So in, you have to have a, a system in place that can support you in providing the right combinations, relevant information for different types of customer groups. And it needs to be consistent. We talked about consistency, and that is very, very important. If you don't have consistent information throughout your different channels, that would lead to confusion, and that's not a good place to be. Um, it needs to be desirable. So with a PIM system in place, you can work with lots of different media types, like you can have pictures, videos, all the type of information 
uh, that uh, helps you to sell your products. This needs to be managed and it adds value if you can do that. And of course, contextual. So it, you need to have different types of information through different devices, for instance. It could be different from uh, the information that you provide on a, on a cell phone or a, through computer and so on. So all this combined creates a lot of value and this is exactly what we address with the PIM system. <clears throat> if we take a look at what the analysts are saying about this. We, we picked this up from Forrester. So the graph is actually showing us that the online transactions only accounts for like 10% of the total transaction, but the product information or the online information that has an effect on the overall sales, it's huge. It's more than 50%. So online information, is very important in this aspect. So when we come to our customers, we often find a situation which we refer to as content spaghetti. This is very much about you start off with a limited number of products or assortments, and then you gradually grow this. Uh, and along that way, you add more people into the process, you add more files into the process and which you store in some different places and throughout the organization. And when you start to grow this, it doesn't really scale. And this is, it's not reusable and so on. And this is where you, in the end, don't have a consistent workflow, which will create this mess, so to speak. We refer to it as content spaghetti. We see this all the time. So another challenge for the company uh, could be that you start to work with one channel and that's all fine. You create the product information for, for that channel. But as you add more channels, uh, these will work in isolation and you run the danger of creating two versions of the truth, which isn't great because it doesn't provide or support consistency throughout these channels and it creates double work and so on. And it also adds to the complexity as you move into new markets, you add more uh, languages and so on. So it adds to creating that siloed uh, environment. Now, our solution to all this, the content spaghetti and the risk of creating silos of information throughout the uh, organization is of course the InRiver PIM platform. So, the InRiver PIM platform supports four very important stages or core stages. Uh, and this is the supply phase, the enrich phase, the plan and release phase, and the publish phase. So if we start with the supply phase, which is in the bottom of this picture, uh, this is where you connect back to your source data. And you create, you extract that data, and you create the first marketing model, which we call it. Uh, and on the left-hand side of this picture, this is the enrich phase. And this is where you have your people, your product management or category management and, and product owners to start creating those wonderful product stories, uh, uh, which eventually will sell the product. Then in the next stage, you move into the plan and release. And this is where you plan your assortments for different types of channels. You plan when in time these should be, and then the publish phase on the right hand side and this is where you make sure that you have the connections out to the different physical selling channels like your uh, your print or your mobile or your e-commerce sites. So that's the sort of overview of the InRiver PIM platform. So a very important concept to us at InRiver is our PXM concept, the product experience management concept. And this is where we combine three very important parts. We have a foundation of product information management, the PIM part, in combination with DAM, digital asset management capabilities, and also market resource management capabilities. And all this together creates something which is more powerful and stronger than the sum of its parts. So that is essential to our platform, the PXM, Product Experience Management. So that was an introduction to the company, 
uh, to our platform and some of the key concepts. If you're interested in learning more about this, please visit our website and take contact with us. I would like to thank you very much for uh, listening and watching. Uh, and again, I encourage you to look at the, the product demo that we also recorded. Thank you very much. Take care. See you.